So, some very interesting news from Disney today. Um, they announced that they have made a $1.5 billion stake into Epic Games. And anyways, let's talk about it. So, you know, Disney and um, Epic are known to have, you know, um, a pretty long-standing partnership, right? They've brought in, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Epic has brought in uh, a lot of Disney characters into Fortnite, right? We've seen that quite a bit. And, you know, Epic partners with other other studios as well. But, you know, this $1.5 billion stake in Epic, I think, is a, a bigger play. And I think that bigger play is a AAA game that they're going to be, be working on. So... I've talked in previous videos about how you know the the gaming world um, isn't just that world, right? It can be bigger than that. It can go to books and TV, uh, movies, um, comic books, right? Um, obviously, Disney is familiar with that type of model, right? Um, but I think it was Spider Man that really kind of showed Disney what a game can do, right? So, <clears throat> excuse me, Sucker Punch. Um, a PlayStation uh, gaming studio. I believe it's Sucker Punch. I'm pretty sure it is. But, you know, they have the licensing for Spider-Man. They also got it for Wolverine now, too. And then, you know, Spider-Man, the first one, did pretty well, you know? Uh, I believe it was on PS4 first. And then, and then for PS5, they had, you know, a version that came out with it. It wasn't exactly like the first one, but anyways... Um, and then Spider-Man 2, though, was on PS5, right? I believe it was actually on PS4 as well. But in any case, it was promoted more for on PS uh, on PS5. But I think, uh, you know, Disney just saw the units that it, it moved. And, you know, that's that's a piece of the pie that they want. Now, we know Disney has a gaming studio. Um, so it's not like they're not um, unable to do this. But um, I think it goes back to the video I made yesterday where you know, you're, you're focused on too many different areas, right? You know, why, why try to figure out, you know, a triple A game when you can just work with the studio who's proven that they can make triple A games, right? Uh, Epic Gears of War. And I mean, and we have the Epic Unreal Engine. So again, like these guys know what they're doing, right? They can ship triple A games, no problem. Um, and we'll get back to that in a second. But, you know, Disney is, Disney can now just put a stake into Epic and be like, all right, now we're going to produce this, this AAA game. So, you know, Disney has the movie stuff. They have the comic books. They have the books, right? Um, you know, now they can really go into uh, th this this gaming space kind of head on, right? So, and, you know, in terms of like what this AAA game is, I'm not exactly sure. Um, I think it's going to be a either a brand new IP that they create or it's going to be from like, a character set that we're just not used to seeing right so <clears throat> i'm excited so we'll see but going back to epic games right so you know a few years ago they had an investment from tension right so tension bought into their into their studio uh with a huge stake and they own i believe something like 30 to 40 percent um but uh you know epic's a private company so we don't know and this 1.5 billion dollar stake by disney we don't know how much of a percentage they're taking either but you know at that time when tension bought in you know that's when epic was shifting more uh, away from these um these triple a games and more into games as a service right where you have um like the freemium model where like fortnite you can play for free but then you have to um but then you have to have like, or not have to have, but then you have microtransactions within the game, right? So, um, you know, as, so a, again, as Epic was, you know, doing this, they, you know, are, are doing this for a while now. And obviously Fortnite's been a huge hit, right? It's been such a huge hit that they got into, you know, that Apple fight um, and, and a fight with Google as well. But, you know, I think Fortnite's been off the platform, off, you know, uh, the Apple store for a while and it's come a, coming back and I think in March this year something like that but in any case right um Epic has proved that you know they got this you know games as a service model down and maybe just maybe they want to try to do that triple a game again right and 
boom, here comes Disney. Like, hey, we would love to help you with that AAA game. So let's do it, right? <clears throat> so anyways, I'm excited and uh, I can't wait to see what happens. Um, I do think it's going to be a brand new IP or it's going to be, you know, a character set that we're just not used to seeing all the time. Um, if it was Iron Man somehow, <sighs> that'd be dope. That'd be really, really dope. But anyhow, I'm excited. We'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, that's all for this one. All right, y'all. Over now.